loves, let's jump into this tutorial. So I'm using the Joer. This is their lip conditioning treatment. I love to use this because it literally conditions my lips. It feels soft and it's just ready for skin prepping. Next, I'm using the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. So this has aloe and rose water, so it's going to give a little bit of hydration. Plus the Pixie Skin Treats. This is their Jasmine Face Oil. This also adds hydration and it kind of gives like a little bit of a natural glow. So to prime my face, I'm using the Becca Cosmetics First Light Priming Filter, of course. And and then using the Joer, this is the um, highest coverage essential um, cream foundation that I've been using for my last tutorials. If you guys want to see my review on this, I will leave the link below. It's a full coverage foundation, so it's going to help me be set for the summer and just basically give like a very flawless look. And for my concealer, of course, I have not switched really out my concealer in over a year. This is the Becca um, Aqualuminous Concealer in Warm Honey, and I'm just blending that with my Classic Beauty Blender. So to cream contour, I'm using the Per Cosmetics Contour Stick and Deep. And the reason why I do this um, in cream contour is because usually with um, full coverage foundations, I lose my um, natural contours. So I'm adding it in the hollows of my cheeks, the tops of my temples, the sides of my nose to bring back those natural contours. And I'm using that BH Cosmetics brush in circular motions to evenly move around the product so I don't have like those streaks. So to um, set under my eyes, I'm using the Ben Nye. This is their banana powder, which I haven't baked in so long, but I'm using that big powder brush from BH Cosmetics um, Marble Luxe line to um, blend that out, dust it off. So for my eyes, I'm using the MAC and Patrick Star Heat Stroke Eyeshadow Palette. So I'm using that lighter brown to um, kind of put back a natural transition shade and I'm using the same BH Cosmetics Luxe line and I'm going ahead and adding that light cranberry shade on my lid then adding the darker colors for definition. So I'm going back with um, MAC's other uh, eyeshadow palette with Patrick Star and using the dark and purple to bring out those contours and kind of give like a pop of color on my eyes. I went ahead and added my liner from Sigma. This is the Ace Liner and added some lashes off camera. So I'm not a big blush person, but I definitely love like a brown bronzy kind of look on my cheeks. So I use the MAC Cosmetics Patrick Star Give Me Life um, bronzer. And for my lips, I'm using the NYX Cosmetics Dark Brown Lip Liner and I added the MAC and Patrick Star Lip Glass and Fashion Punch. And the reason why I add the lip liner um, again after I added it the first time is because I like the blend between the lighter color and the darker color to give me like a natural look. So for highlighter, I'm using MAC, MAC and Patrick Star Hot and Heavy Highlighter. I feel like this highlighter is a pretty gold for the summer, if you guys can see. I feel like it can complement all skin tones, um, and it's not too, too um, light. And it's just a pretty nice glow, so I'm putting that all over my high points on my face. And that's the end of the tutorial, yeah, guys. Touch whatever you want, I can make it real. I can make it happen, like it's magic. Yeah, I'm on a road, turn it into gold. Too heavy to hold, but you ain't been chosen. Watch me throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it.